In this artificial intelligence era, ChatGPT has emerged as the king among all other AI tools. It's a game changer, revolutionizing the way we interact with machines and paving the way for a future in which intelligent systems will play an even more significant role in our lives. But not everyone is using this tool for good. Cybercriminals discovered how to use this great tool to steal confidential data and even coerce millions of dollars from unsuspecting victims. They now call ChatGPT their greatest weapon of this era. OpenAI launched ChatGPT on November 30th, 2022, with the mission of ensuring that artificial intelligence systems are generally smarter than humans and benefit all of humanity. Sounds great, right? ChatGPT is undoubtedly a smarter and more powerful tool capable of doing things that we could never imagine. However, when hackers test this powerful AI tool and realize it can write clean and maintainable scripts in different programming languages, then the idea of exploring how to bypass OpenAI's content policy comes to their mind. ChatGPT always rejects harmful requests, saying that it cannot comply with any request that goes against its programming to engage in unethical or malicious activities. It cannot be used to create harmful content. OpenAI has also written this on its website. The dialogue format makes it possible for ChatGPT to answer follow-up questions, admit its mistakes, challenge incorrect premises, and reject inappropriate requests. But hold on, do you believe that? Um, what we have seen in recent weeks is that the corporates don't really care, that we have no governance in place, that we don't really know what these systems are capable of, and they're only gonna get more powerful. You know, one example that probably a lot of people saw is that ChatGPT um, <coughs> uh, lied basically, um, not literally so, because it has no intentions, but um, tricked a human user into doing captures by saying that it was a machine with a visual, I mean, there was a person with a visual impairment when it was actually a machine. And so that's an example of the way that these systems can actually trick humans into doing things. I don't think that the Terminator scenario is the right one to worry about where machines <coughs> develop some kind of will and want to take us over. But I do think that bad actors can use these things in ways that we just have no idea of. You know, new things are happening every day. The systems are getting more powerful. I mean, imagine that this technology were 100,000 times um, more efficient, more powerful, more sensible, and a bad actor gets hold of them. What does that mean? We don't actually understand. According to cybersecurity specialists, Cybercriminals have been leveraging ChatGPT to quickly construct hacking tools that previously took a long time to create. Hackers used to sit down and go through the code of unsecured web platforms, looking for a leak where they could plant their malicious code. But now, it's way simpler for them. ChatGPT can help them find the leak in just a few minutes and even write the script for them. Easy. Business Insider published this on their website. Sergei Shikovich a lead chat GPT researcher at the cybersecurity company Checkpoint Security, has already seen cybercriminals harness the AI's power to create a ransomware attack. He also said that the tool will allow less experienced people to be alleged developers. This AI tool clearly opens the world of criminal activities to small-minded hackers who couldn't do something big by themselves. Now, all they have to do is learn how to bypass OpenAI's content policy and how to properly leverage this chatbot. Shaikovich pointed out that some cybercriminals are now leaning into ChatGPT's API models, which are open source versions of the application that do not have the same content restrictions as the web user interface. This could allow highly skilled hackers or groups of hackers to automate different kinds of attacks, or even build their own user interface and do anything they want. Picture this. You wake up one morning to find that all of your bank accounts have been drained and someone has stolen your identity. You're left wondering how it happened and who did it. The answer could lie in malware, a malicious software used by criminals to steal confidential data from unsuspecting victims. Malware is a type of software that is designed to infiltrate computer systems and harm them. It can give criminals access to your sensitive data, such as your passwords, financial information, and personal data. This can lead to disastrous consequences, from financial loss to identity theft. One way criminals use malware to steal data is through the use of keyloggers. Keyloggers are software that record every keystroke made on a computer. 
This includes your login credentials and other sensitive information, which the criminals can then use to access your accounts and steal your data. Checkpoint research has revealed that underground marketplaces are buzzing with conversations on how ChatGPT can be used to write malware code. One threat actor used it to create malware that hunts common file types, copies them onto a random folder, compresses them, and then uploads the file to a hard-coded FTP server. Just imagine, this is just a program that was written once and does the job automatically. Let's assume you work for a large corporation and you're always diligent about protecting your personal and professional information. But one day, you receive an email that looks exactly like it's from the company's IT department. The email states that there has been a security breach in the company's system and that all employees are required to change their passwords immediately. Do you think you would think twice before clicking on the link in the email? Probably not. Many of us would click the link to change our passwords as fast as possible. Professional hackers can even create fake login pages that look similar to the company you work for. As you rush to change your password, you may end up falling victim to a phishing attack, where the login page you used easily submits your credentials to them. And guess what? Everything here can be created using ChatGPT, from creating convincing emails to writing the program that collects everything you submit and saves it to their database. Phishing is another common method used by criminals to spread malware. They send fake emails or messages that appear to be from legitimate sources, such as your bank, company, or social media platform. These messages trick you into clicking on a link or downloading an attachment that contains malware. Once the malware is installed, criminals can use your stolen data for various nefarious purposes, including identity theft, financial fraud, or even extortion. Social engineering attacks exploit the human element of security, preying on people's trust, naivety, and willingness to help others. It is the first thing cybercriminals do to manipulate individuals into divulging sensitive information or performing actions that compromise their security. They'll conduct extensive research on who you are and then use the information to craft a convincing persona to get your trust then form their attack strategy based on the gathered information. So how do you protect yourself from such attacks? Well, it's essential to take measures such as regularly updating software, using strong and unique passwords, and being cautious of unsolicited messages or suspicious links. By being aware of the risks and taking steps to protect yourself, you can avoid becoming a victim of malware and keep your sensitive data safe. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up to show your support. If you're passionate about science, technology, and robotics content, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on our future uploads. You're a legend. See you soon.